cycles. That song, you know, that song. Cycle solo. That was significantly easier than most of them, but... Hey everyone, Oni Monster here, and welcome back to Night in the Woods. I know, two in a row. Who would have guessed it? Uh, last time we went out with Bia and accidentally kind of ruined the fact that we were at a college party and she wasn't in college. <laughs> oh, it's a new away... It's a new away message. Come pick your fight, give arrows flight, you mess with me, you mess with all of us. Going to see Blink's Tones next week. Hey kid! Snack balcony. Work, work, work. Till I die, die, die. Hello, May. Pickaxe. Add it. Me. You know the drill. I do. And because I don't know if I only had one option for going to investigate places, I'm going to go talk to Bia. Jeez. Feels like it's been years since I got back and saw this again. Hey, bird. Things are like really intense right now. Pray to your bird gods for my soul bird. Does that bird actually have a name or is... Probably it's just she refuses to actually use its name. It's like us always calling our cat cat. Hey mom. Good morning. There's my little sunshine daisy. Are you feeling any better from the other day? Sleeping a lot? but feeling worse. 
Okay, well, I'm gonna make you an appointment with Dr. Hank. Oh, jeez, Mom, it's fine. It's very much not fine, hun. I'm an adult. I can- <laughs> I can make that decision. <laughs> when you're here, you're still my baby. And I'm making you an appointment. Hey, hun. I'm worried about you. I'm okay, Mom. Listen, I- I keep thinking about the money problems. And the house. And I'm- I'm just so sorry. You... We... Wouldn't be in this situation if I wasn't such a massive screw-up. I just want to fall into a pit and die right now. May, it's okay, really. We'll figure something out. This isn't on you to fix. I'm sorry I made it seem that way. What's done is done, and we're a family together, regardless. Please stop worrying about it. Whatever happened... <laughs> Whatever happens, know that I've... Whatever happens, I love you. I need you to know that. You too! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. You sure you don't want to stay home and rest? Nah, got stuff to do. What is it you have to do? I don't, I don't even know, honestly. Oh, hun. Please take it easy. I will. Love you. Love you too. I keep this really good prescription headache meds on my nightstand. I can, like, give you half of one. Only half? Honey, you're, you know, short. Half would be fine. <laughs> it's fine, Mom. Okay, let me know if I can be of any help. Thanks, Mom. Oh. Good family. Good family. May! Get down from those power lines! Uh. Oops. <laughs> oh god. What do you want? Hello to you too, May. Well? I wanted to let you know. We ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. Oh, really? Yeah, thought you'd be interested is all. Definitely! Arm belonged to a middle-aged man. Medium build. And he was dead when it was removed. Whoa. That means... Doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detective stories when you were a kid? Okay. Yeah, thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? Wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me, I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff is going on. You're telling me. Have a nice evening, May. <laughs> Oops. Uh, what's up, Selmers? Hey, Selmers. Jeez, May, are you sick? Nah. Just tired. Got a headache. Why are you out running around? I'll get over it. Yeesh. Take it easy, neighbor. Can do. Wanna hear a new poem? Absolutely. The stars, the stars. Like lights on cars. Drive across the dark. And never park. It's true, they are like that. I got one ready for the long for longest night. Oh? Longest night. Longest night. Night so dark, but stars so bright. Nice. Thanks. I'm feeling festive. You notice anything, like, weird around here lately? Weird as in... Missing kids? I don't think so. Not recently, at least. That Casey kid last spring. But he weren't a kid no more. Maybe someone else, but from another town? I'm sure I'll remember. You know, I asked that, but didn't expect you to know. I read the paper. Forecast is thinking snow soon. When? 
Soon. Gonna get cold soon. Getting cold early this year. Don't bode well. Hey, look who it is! What's up? Will tunnel fish always be there? Will tunnel drain? Canal be bare? Would I miss the tunnel fish? To have them back would be my wish. Are they gonna drain the tunnel or something? No. It's poetry, okay? Just make it stuff up. Please don't listen! But I like listening. I like your poem. Aww. Dang, she's still not here. Kids probably aren't either. Oh no. Oh. Bruce is gonna be gone. We got statues of stern dudes for miles here in Possum Springs. <laughs> Statues of stern dudes. Wonder where Bruce has got to. Actually, I know. Really? Yeah, he told you not to tell you yesterday. Tell me what, May? Bruce is going home. He. What? Yeah, he's going home to his kids. I guess they're all waiting for him. Oh. He seemed pretty happy about it. Okay. Thanks, May. Are you not happy about this? Thanks for letting me know. Was going to be something bad, and I'm pretty sure he's just wandered off to be elsewhere. Didn't mean to cause no one trouble. See, you can't resist coming here. That's God calling you. Oh, geez, I'm betting not. God's patient, hun. Like nature. That is such a creepy statement. I find it comforting. I got this creeping dread thing coming up and going on. Just ignore me. Okay, hun. Anything I can do? Not really. Love you. What is it? I don't know. Purposely committing the scene to memory. Taking a brain photo. <laughs> yeah. Like when I was a kid. Your dad was great with the games to keep you quiet in the car. He sure was. I still do it now. Snap. Got your picture. Snap, snap. Got yours too. Love you, sweetie. Love you too, mom. I'm so worn out. Why don't you go take a nap in back in the library room? Oh, wow. I haven't been in the library room in years. It doesn't get a lot of use these days, but it's nice and quiet and peaceful. Okay, I, I might do that. Door's back there unlocked now, so have at it. I'll be out here. Thanks, Mom. No problem, sweetie.
Hey, Granddad. I really don't have anything to say to that. That was... Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hey, Bia. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I guess. Sure. Tired. Had a headache for days. You should, like, go home and rest. I feel like you've been able to, like, veg out. I feel like you'd be able to, like, veg out pretty well. Nah, I'm fine. Doing stuff helps. Are you sure? Are you feeling... How are you feeling about the whole ghost thing? Bad. I mean, since it happened, I don't feel rested in the morning. And I feel like someone else is in my head. And my skull is going to explode. So, yeah. Not good, then. Nope. Hmm. Did you still want to check out the graveyard? Yeah, let's do that. The graveyard. Foggy. Oh, he's got that even in fall fog. Collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know. Good spooky. I get really sad because it's not here year-round. Hey, Bia. Yep. Sorry again about last night. Eh, it's cool. Who needs a social life? This is social. Sure it is. <laughs> I like their dynamic. Well, there's the statue. Oh, also spooky. I thought you were, like, actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but, like, whatever. So we wait here? Yeah. And a ghost shows up. This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. Know any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Uh, things are like monumentally screwed right now. And no one's in power, and no one in power gives a shit. Or they're actively making it worse. Out of spite or profit. Whoa! Jeez. I meant, like, a skeleton or something. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. I say something, and you make it spookier. Uh, Alright. How about this? <laughs> ah, outside your window. A skeleton outside your window. A regular stranger person outside your window. He's smiling. And he's from the bank. Oh, come on! <laughs> he's here to tell you they're gonna take your house. This is just depressing. And he's a zombie. Okay, fine, that works. Zombie bank guy. All of the things you're afraid of are boring. Scary stuff is, like, really, really boring. Oh my god, Beatrice. 
What are we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something? This is dumb. Let's go. <laughs> All the stuff you find is scary is boring. Oh, isn't that adult life, though? Okay, so. I'm gonna go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh. Okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay. It happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'll check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying when I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back at school. It's like something I actually know about. Cool. I'll meet you back up here then. Let's go check out a grave or three. I want up. Can I go up? Nope. Alright. Hello, red fireflies. Oh, no, I can't. Hey. Hey. Is this... Yep. Oh. Yep. I don't know where I can go. Can I go up there and I just completely missed it? Nope. Maybe there's something back here. Hmm. Standard headstone, nothing fancy. Clearly religious. 95 years. Wow. When she was born, the most high-tech thing was horses. She had to, like, look out a win the window to see a horse. And now we have, like, pictures of horses on the internet. Like, any horse you can think of. She saw us from horses to the internet horses. Decent run. Taken by fu flu, 14 years old. Aw, oh, dang. Lived like 14 years. It's not enough time. Probably never said anyone any- Never said anything anyone could understand. You should get off at least one good sentence in life. Oh, hi! Uh... Don't mind us. We're just- Hey! <laughs> Evening. Evening. What you up to, bud? Looking for a ghost while my friend visits her mom's grave? You? I'm a gr I'm the grave digger. Grave. Groundskeeper. What have you? Can we talk shop for a sec? Shoot. Do you get spooked out here all by your lonesome? Nah, I work here. Tends to take the spook out of the place. This job pay well? You thinking about digging graves? Hmm, depends on the pay. Not much. Oh. I'm a wedding DJ on the side. Friggin' sweet. I will rock you hard. <laughs> Sounds great, my man. <laughs> Well, see ya. Good luck finding your ghost. <laughs> Career idea. Grave digger. Brad Boyson. Ooh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess. He loved his bike. He loved it so hard, he smooched it. So right. Jeez, Via. How long does a mom take visit? Tick tock, tick tock, Beatrice. We got places to be. Holy crap, I am a jerk. Yes, you are. 
Oh my god. Holy crap, May. No. Hey. Uh, how to go? Fine. She's still there. Were you worried about that? You know how we've been having a sink, have been having sinkhole problems in town. Yes. That's what's. W that was what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill, so I was worried. Like, you're worried the ground's just gonna, like, cave in? What part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard! They shouldn't make it where sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. And yet here we are. <laughs> oh dear. She has a point. Okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there... I think I heard music from the top of the hill. And, like, voices. Huh, that's... Uh... Spooky. Theme of the night. That's spooky. Yeah, not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh, yeah. Sure. Spooky voices. Is that a rock party? Is is the groundskeeper practicing his DJing? Oh, wow, this is a lot darker than I thought it would be. Oh, that's not ominous at all. Hi! Oh, it's a freaking goth party, isn't it? Oh, weary tr Oh, yeah, no, it's totally- <laughs> Oh, I think I met these guys! Aren't these the ones from the cliff? Ho, oh, weary travelers. You seek answers among the dead. But they shall give you none. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, guys. Do you know these kids? <laughs> yeah, we met. What are y'all doing? Okay, so. We are the keepers of the gate. They're... There's a little real gate you're sitting in front of. We govern who shall pass and who shall remain. Alright then. Alright, well, answer us these questions truthfully. What? And you may pass into the realms of the dead. Okay, okay, fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question Have you ever done it? You can just call it sex. We're grown-ups here. Well, we are, at least. Answer! No? Never got around to it. And you? Yeah. What? When? Summer before 11th grade. Really? How did I not know this? This was when you weren't talking to me. Who? Who did this happen with? Ugh, you don't know him. It was a math camp. Math camp? What is math camp? You go and do, like, math stuff. And camp stuff. And apparently have lots of sex. It wasn't good. Top-notch math, though. <laughs> this is boring. <laughs> Next question. Jeez, fine. Describe your dream date. These are the stupidest questions. Yeah, don't you want to ask something, like, spooky at least? Dream date! Okay, fine. Uh, you'd be tall, dressed cool, really smart, likes good music, and we'd go to the movies. Boring. You? Wrestling. Like, you're gonna wrestle, or you're going to, like, watch wrestling? I could wrestle. 
I don't care if it's a guy or a girl. But they'd have to be like, grrr. Because I don't even want to date someone who's not, grrr. <laughs> so you're gonna wrestle this person. Yeah, they'd be super tough and cool. And we'd be all tired and dirty and bleeding. And then we'd like, lay on the floor and tell each other secrets. That's actually really sweet. <laughs> yes. What do you want from me? Next question. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... Oh. oh, this is hilarious. It sounds like a bunch of teenagers trying to figure out how to... A bunch of nerds trying to figure out how to get dates. What is your most embarrassing experience? What? Just go with it. Answer. One time I farted in front of the glass. <laughs> oh, that's made even funnier when I imagine that Bia has this very like low monotone voice. <laughs> just just go with it. Oh, fine. <laughs> that that's it. What were you expecting? Okay, that sucked. Now you go. Uh oh. God. One time in high school, I went to the prom with the guy, this guy Cole. Oh wow, I've been wanting this story for years. And it was awkward, and I had a dress to wear, and I couldn't slow dance. And he was really nice and stuff, I guess. And I tried to kiss him, but somehow I screwed it up and drew blood. You bit him? How bad did you mess up that kiss? I have no idea, but he was bleeding a lot. So, like, I rushed him to the bathroom to get paper towels. So I'm, like, shoving these paper towels into his mouth, and I overdo it, and he starts choking and, like, fighting back. <laughs> and I'm, like, chowing down on candy almonds. <laughs> I can't breathe! From where?! I stole them from the tables and shoved them down my dress. So, like, I finally threw these almonds for some reason. And one of them gets caught in my throat. Poor Cole has, to, has like, slumped against the bathroom wall. I try to give myself the Heimlich maneuver and it works, but, but I puke all over Cole. Chicken cordon bleu. This is amazing. <laughs> Right then, someone walks in and sees Kale dazed and bleeding and choking, and me puking into the sink. <laughs> so I pull all the paper towels out of Cole's mouth, and for some reason I think to flush them down the toilet, and that makes an overflow. <laughs> so I grab Cole and pull him out of the bathroom. <laughs> My face hurts from smiling so much. Bolo was covered in puke and blood and toilet water, and he ran away and left, and he was my ride. <laughs> Who did you get home? That kid Josh who rode his tractor to prom? So we're slowly driving to my house, cars slowing down and honking, while I'm on the back crying my eyes out. That was seriously messed up. Hey, I... I... I have nightmares about it, like, once a week. I'm going to have nightmares about it. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. I shouldn't be laughing, but oh my god. <laughs> that just escalated so quickly. Can we pass now? Yeah, nobody's on. <laughs> nobody's gonna top that. You have come face to face with your lowest moment. You may pass unburdened. <laughs> unburdened? <laughs> Yeah, for real. Okay, let us pass already. The power to pass was in your hands all along. God, what? What the effing hell? You may go. God damn it. Go to hell, teens. <laughs> I hate everything right now. Forget it, let's go. That was an experience. <laughs> Oh, wow. This 
So like, ghosts. Ghosts? Like, I don't know if I believe in them, but... Yeah? So you know how you've said you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't stupid believe it's not just dreams, because obviously it's dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. But like, did you ever see my mom? It's hard to like recognize anyone, but you can get a sense of people, and I uh, I'm pretty sure I saw her. Really? As far as I can tell. I just want to know that she's somewhere. And okay. She's somewhere, Bia. And okay. Thanks. I don't know if you're just lying, or you dreamed it, or what, but even if you just made that all up, that was- it was nice of you. Alright, anyway. So the bad news is that we're locked out. By that big ass gate. Ugh. Why make a giant gate in the graveyard? Um, to keep people like you out? And to stop whatever you're probably going to do. Hmm. Yeah, we'll never know for sure. Alright, well, I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. My thing? You're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit. Jeez, gotta do everything around here. It's your ghost, I'm just the driver. Fine, hang out. I'll be back. So, what's up? Oh, hello. There's no way I'm gonna leave Bia behind. Uh, Bia Trist. Just learn to jump. Not with those scrawny legs, I guess. How did I- How do I break that gate open? I'm dumb. Ah, there we go. <laughs> ah, flashback to the first. Uh... I sure hope nobody saw that. We're gonna get sued. I don't think anyone's back here. And it's getting late. Mm-hmm. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, see? I told you you're good at this. My back hurts. So what do we need to do? Ugh, I'm gonna go find the little Joe's grave. See if he doesn't show up. I'm gonna knock on it until he does. You're not allowed to destroy anything, May. Okay, fine. Whatever. Let's go. <sighs> Joe Shade? Yeah, this is him. Ground here is all swampy. Ew, gross. So, what do we do here? Um, guess I'm gonna look around for ghosts. Ugh, don't make this a thing. It's not a thing. It's cool. May, I'm here for you right now. Sorry, you had a tone. Tone stowed. Thank you. Are there any ghosts over there? No, Bia. You'd know. I'd say. <laughs> okay. This grave is for a horse, I think? I don't think they ever buried horses in people's graves. Imagine the big horse-sized coffin. Imagine. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I found some old stuff! What kind of old stuff? Graves? Wow.
This is stupid. What were you expecting? Something? It's just stupid. He didn't pop out of the ground or anything. Is... Is that what you were expecting to happen? This is stupid. I'm gonna smash this shit up. Whoa. Uh, whoa, dude. Hold up, no. Wake up, little... Wakey, wakey, little Joe. I don't know what I'm doing! Okay, that didn't sound right. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit! What did you do? You were right! About what? I didn't tell you to do that? About the sinkholes? We're lucky it wasn't deeper. Wait, is that? Yeah, that's a coffin. Oh crap. So are we gonna, so we're gonna open it, right? No, we're not going to open a coffin with a rotting corpse inside it. Bia, it's been such a long time. He's not rotting anymore. Gee, God, we're not doing this. We are leaving. Aren't you kind of curious at least? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do this. You're doing it. I'm standing here. Okay. Okay. I'll count to three. Okay. One. Two. Three. So what? Foul play? Who knows? We're detectives. We're not. We're like criminal vandals. Or like grave robbers or something. Those two. We're a lot of things right now. Shh. What? There's someone back there watching us. Oh god. I didn't know where they went. I don't know where they went. Just like... Out of the corner of my eye. Is it? I don't know, but we need to leave now. Could be the ghost. No, we're gone now. Okay, fine, jeez. <laughs> she is so oh, hey. Oh. Oh dear. Well, that was weird, huh? Weird? That was not weird. That was a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there! How do you know that the ghost is a dude? Okay, fine, but he was there! May, it was the groundskeeper or something. Investigating who was ruining his graveyard. How do you know the groundskeeper is a dude? Oh, shut up. <sighs> I saw the effing ghost! Why does nobody- May? Uh, May? What's wrong? Uh, holy crap. Uh, uh, my head. Jeez. Uh, let's get to the car. I've got mangrane pills and we can get you home. No! Need to talk to everyone tonight. What? Everyone. Okay, okay, okay. I need everyone. Stop talking! Go get the in the car. Hmm. Thanks for, like, coming. Again. <laughs> Again. We live here. <laughs> yeah, you're in my living room. I'll accept the thanks. So, like, do you have any idea what's going on? I 
have no idea. But there's a ghost. And it's after me. I know you guys don't believe me. It's not that I don't believe something's happening with you. I just don't know that it's a ghost. Yeah, dude. There are like 50 better explanations for all of this. Like what? You have like sudden stress migraines and you saw something that freaked you out and makes you stress out. I get migraines. And May, you've gone through a lot of cha life changes recently and I don't know, stress does weird things to people. Okay, fine. Fine, whatever. <sighs> I'm gonna go up into the woods. I know this is a thing up there. I know what I saw. If you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. You're really gonna hike up past the basketball court? It's late, dude. What do you all care? You don't believe me anyway. I'll go. <laughs> Listen, I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. Aw, dude! <laughs> Let's go find your ghost. I was fixing to say something like that, but you said it better. Aww, you guys! It's not even ghost hunting season. Yeah, it's Buck. <laughs> We're outlaws. Th thank you for believing in me. Mostly, I just don't want you wandering around up here alone at night. Close enough. <laughs> Alright! Let's hunt some ghost. <laughs> Haven't been on a night hike in a long time. Gotta listen for owls. Why? Owls are cool. Alright. I got work in the morning. Let's go catch us a ghost. Skull hole! Is this why a spirit wanders? Must he be avenged? Saw him. <laughs> oh, I have no idea what's going on. How have I never been back here? Fences work? Nah, people are up here all the time. I came here when I was like 12. What's up here? Just old junk and trees and animals. What is it, Bia? Nothing. Nothing? I was praying. Wow. Really? Yeah. Let's go. I love the dynamic of the party. Like, oh my gosh. Also, what the frack? Like, I'm convinced that there is... Uh, I feel like there's someone stalking um, there's someone who's targeted Possum Springs is what I think but I don't know why May has been targeted wow I'm gonna put all this stuff somewhere I guess you remember when you remember this from when you were like 12, Greg? Yeah, I was scared of it. How'd they even get all this back up in here? <laughs> What's up? Nothing. Just like all this old, old stuff out here. It's here every night when you go to sleep. So, out here in the dark. So old, so old, so old. Dude! Hey, May! I'm fine. We should go back. This is stupid. No. It's fine. Ghost hunt. Woo. Fun. It's all the mining stuff. <laughs> She's so short! <laughs> Compared to all of her friends. Oh. By the light of Bia's cigarette. 
What the? Huh? Oh my god. No! No! Oh hell, he's awake already. Someone got any juice? No, no, guys. Oh hell. Guys, guys, wait. Lerv, you knew this was gonna happen. You knew the moment you screwed this whole thing up. It ain't like you weren't on the other side of this before. This- it was a mistake! I owned up to it! Lerv, this is you owning up to it. Aren't I allowed to make one mistake? One mistake? You left a goddamn arm in front of the click-clack. Cause of you, God knows what's gonna happen to this town. What was I supposed to do? It was your screw-up! Ugh, his legs stuck. What are they do- what- what is going on here? And it wasn't like you couldn't have called any of us. I panicked, okay? I was embarrassed. Sure wish you'd called me, Lerv. Think any of us want to do this? Guys, we can figure something out. Oh god, is he about to die? What are they wearing? Nothing to figure out. But... but I got a family. Lerv, don't insult us. You know you don't gotta worry about Genie and the girls. They will be completely taken care of. They'll never want for nothing. It's not gonna budge with that leg, leg sticking out straight. Straight out? Aw, oh, hell. Dave! Rick! Benny! Guys! You know me! He needs to stop moving like that. That's disturbing, is what it is. Alright, Dave. Oh, you hold him. I'm sorry, Lerv. You know we got no choice. I appreciate it if you'd stop laying a guilt trip on us. Hold him still. Hold still, this will go easier if... <laughs> Alright, he's free. Lerv? Ugh. Lerv. Ain't no one can hear you this far out. You're just putting yourself in more anguish and... <laughs> oh hell, let's get this over with. We should just make this easy, Lerv. Oh god, his bone's sticking out. What the hell? Shit! May? May Borowski? Run! I have no idea what's going on! Man, why don't they have to jump over things? Oh god. Okay, so it's someone who recognizes May's name and her voice. The fuck is going on? Part four. The end of- Hi! Nice. Nice! Yep. I barely remember how to play this. It's like riding a bike. I play this game when I have- In my head when I'm falling asleep. Hmm. I like to go over plots of books I've read. Ooh, look at this Marty! I try to remember every place I've ever been. In order. Wow. Alright, well... Oh, uh, alright, I'm Bia now! What? It, I don't see anyone out there. Just wait, I'll be back.
So we still have no idea who this is. Uh, big guy, dirty coat. Or several. They could swap out. I can't tell. Okay, so we got brownies, got sodas. Want some brownies? I'm making brownies. And... Yeah. Maybe lasagna. Lasagna? I found one in the freezer. Why all the food? Need to eat. Everyone needs to eat. Aren't you, like, scared and worried? Good dinner makes everyone feel better. Someone's gotta take care of you. Thanks, Angus. You're extremely good. Oh, I know more than anyone else. Alright, where's May? It, but, it, it, but. <laughs> so that guy you saw in the woods at Possum Jump? Yep. Were those guys like that guy? Yep. Sort of. He had a hat. Hmm. I need to defrost the lasagna. Or do I? Do you cook it frozen? Getting dark earlier. So, no word from her parents? Nope! That's bad, right? Yep! Yerp. Thanks, guys. I am so tired. I could, like, curl up in their bed. There's, like, a whole living area under there. I played this until I broke one of the sticks. That's harsh. I don't screw around. That's the spirit! This game had a great soundtrack. Very high school summer. I listened to like half the bands on it. We're gonna see the black tones in a few- blank tones in a few days. Or we were. I don't know. Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yep. Yes. -um. Wait, everybody shut up. What? I heard it too. Seriously, what? I heard something. I heard knocking from the door. There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everyone be very quiet. Oh my god. Oh, controller shaking. Controller shaking. Some sort of cult. People are dying. Maze separated from the group who are trying not to draw suspicion to themselves. Something's going on with May. What in the world? again.
God is here, in this room. I believe that. In times like this, we can call out and know that our cries are heard. While we're here, maybe someone would like to say something about May. That'd be nice. May is a good girl. She and I explored the stars, and she'd love to hear about them. She... I am sorry. It can be difficult. Anyone else? I've always known May as the kid down the street. A little younger than me, but tough. Been through it the past couple of years. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce, and I just think it's not fair that May of all people should have trouble. Where's the god in that? Where's the higher power? This is all a bunch of bullshit. This is all a bunch of bullshit. Thank you, Selma. Anyone else? I'll say something. May Borowski's always been a menace. I called the police on her more than once. I hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. That's all I've got to say. Uh, okay. Thank you, William. I'll speak up. Go ahead. May was the daughter to all of us on the block. Speak for yourself. Sometimes folks in the wrong place at the wrong time. We hope we find out exactly what happened to her. Oh, you know, a friend told us. Yeah, they were out in the woods at night. Down at the end of Sentry Ave. Someone was out there hunting illegally. They got shot at. They fell and... She must have fallen a million things a million times. All it takes is land in the wrong, the wrong way one time. Oh. Whale. Hope she wakes up soon, tells us all about it. See if she remembers who done it. I'm sure she Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. What's happening to this one? Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? No, supposed to be fixing a door. And in, in here? Nope. Okay, so she's gonna be fine. For today, leastways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor. The house is gone. May Oh thank God. What did you say, May? It's dead. What's dead, honey? May? Honey? Everything. Oh my god. B oh my god. May? Holy shit, it's May. It's me. You came back to life! I, I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! I'm feeling woozy. You should lay down. You can sleep in our bed. 
I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No, the sound is good. Her mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she just, like, wandered out of her house? Yeah, all the way here. Jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. I sure hope she's alright. Mm-hmm. Both of you, shh! So how well do you know this guy? You already have pizza, what, twice a week? At least. From out by the highway now, since past abilities closed down. I thought you were two and we were trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyle, Bia. Okay, well, just so long as we're sure this delivery guy is safe. I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide in here until we die. Alright, well, as long as there's a plan. Hello? Look who's awake. It's him. It's the pizza guy. Pizza's here! So what happened? We called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like, in a coma. Did you die? Nah, just took a very long nap. Nice. Uh, yeah. Nice. I had this dream, or like a vision, or I time traveled. I don't know. I'm like in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. Sorry, mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, mom. We'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm gonna just sleep here. Bia is there? Bia is here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have Bia drive you home. I will. May? I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. Love you too, sweetie. You want a brownie? Nah, I can't really eat right now. Like, I'd puke, but there isn't anything in there. So I'd like, actually, I'd puke all my gut, actual guts out. Oh, right. You need your guts. For the moment, at least. <laughs> at least she still has a sense of humor. God. What even? Dude, wild week, huh? You could say that. When we get out of this, I don't know if we're getting out of this. Well, even if we don't, and we're ghosts, we should hang out more. Deal. What even is that game? What even was that game? Werewolf, shred the, shred the nar three. Wow. I played this at Casey's house, like, years ago. I played it. Yesterday. At home. Cool. Be a... Be a best friend. <laughs> they got Wi-Fi. Nice. It's like we're... It's like we're a real place. At least within range. I don't even have a phone because of this place. It's the 1800s here. 
Hey, May. Yeah. I'm really glad you're not dead. Me too. Yeah. 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 Cool. I'll be right out. Hey kids, can can we do lights out now? I'm going to drop over. Yeah, dude. Sounds good. See y'all tomorrow. You sure it's safe for you to leave? None of this got anything to do with me. No weirdos following me around. Oh, right. See ya! Bye, germ. <laughs> that cannot be comfortable. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? No. You weren't talking then, and I thought it'd be weird to bring it up now, and... I was playing this video game. You were, like, dating ghosts or something. Okay. I was really into it. Played, like, 24-7. Till this one afternoon, suddenly, like, something broke. Broke? It was just, like, pixels. The characters on screen, I felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore, they were just shapes. Their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed, and they never had feelings, and they never n would exist either. It, feels so, it felt so sad. Like I just lost these real people. This whole thing we had, it just... It was just me. Alone. And like that realization like dumped out of the screen and into real life, went outside and the tree out front. I looked at it every day. It's like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing. Just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like, all the stuff I felt about the, about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by and he was just about, and he was just shapes. Just a bunch of, just like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried. Because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff. Stuff in the universe. Just... dead. Wow. That's... Huh. And the next day was that softball game, and Andy was the pitcher when I was up. And he was just shapes, too. Just lying someone wrote. Like, nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry that I just... I don't know. Before I knew what I... Knew it, I was on top of him, smashing his face in with that bat. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. Oh my god, May. Have you talked to anybody about this? After it happened, they made me go to therapy. With Dr. Hank. Oh god, he's the worst. And he made me start a journal. A journal? Yeah, he kind of said it would help me be able to get my thoughts down. Did it help? Kinda. Sorta. But since this whole thing happened, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes. Like, back at the softball game. I was doing fine in college for a while, but I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. There was this statue of, like, the founder or something. A really shitty statue, like, all rusty metal. And it was these shapes. He was pointing down at me, and I was so scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed enough cough syrup just to sleep all the time. Finally, I got up the courage to leave and came home where everything was fine, where I knew everyone, and it wasn't just dead shapes watching me. Jeez. Something broke in my head, in my life. I didn't mean to be like, whatever, but it sounds like you're suffering from some serious stuff. And like, I can help you find some help for it? Dr. Hank already tried. I think Dr. Hank should stick to family medicine and dentistry. 
and the half dozen other things he does, and maybe leave the mental health services to someone else. Like, there are such things as depression and anxiety, and like, I don't know, what you're going through, it exists. I, I thought when I came home, I just, I felt so safe here. Everything made sense for a few days, and then all of this, and, 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 shh, shh, shh. it's gonna be okay. We'll figure this out. I'm so scared. I know, we're all scared. But we're gonna make it. You should get some sleep. I... Oh dear, she's awake in the middle of the night. That's not good. Yes, I'm bawling my eyes out. And I don't care because... Oh dear god. Oh May, what are you doing? What are you doing? Bye guys. Love you. May? The hole in the center of everything. May, what are you doing? Oh my god. I don't- can I- can I- no. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm not allowed to go back. Oh. <laughs> Oh no. What are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk! Fine. Let's do this. Holy hell. Boom! Get away from her, you piece of shit. You're outnumbered, asshole. <laughs> ah, you shot me! And we all both- <laughs> and we can use- both of our- we can all use both of our arms. I will personally disassemble you. Whoa. Jeez, Bia. Arg! Ah! You okay? Where did- You are such an idiot. What were you thinking, coming right out here alone? This is all because of me. Oh, I'm sorry, are you the one putting on the dumb costume and following me around? And kidnapping people, maybe? Is that your fault now? It, it, it's in my dreams. Hey, kiddo. We're out here. Outside your head. Whatever's going on in there, I believe you. But I'm not gonna let you wander off into the woods to die. Okay. We're all in this now. And even if we weren't, I'd still be out here with you. Me too, obviously. Clearly, clearly all of we, we all would be. Listen, I'm all about the family my dad has left. I'm all the family my dad has left. I am for damn sure not dying out here. And you're... God, you're the closest thing I have to a sister. I don't want you to be gone. So you're not dying either. <laughs> Cough. That sounds okay. By me. Well, he's wounded. It sounded like you went back up to the mine. Yeah, what do we do? Follow him, I guess? <laughs> Why? May, I don't like either of these answers. You all wait here, I'll go. None of them are going to agree to that. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Anyway. If he's up there. If he's up there in the, in the mine, we might be able to corner him and tie him up. Or something. Can you walk me? I, I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. Alright, let's go do something really stupid. Ah, oh, I love her friends. Gates open. Oh, jeez. What? We could, like, block it shut or something. Aw, oh, dang. You're right. No. He, it, whatever. It's in there. I have to go in there. I have to go down there. Well then. Looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one... something. Bang bang! <laughs> Borrowed his sister's crossbow? Or was it his crossbow? I don't remember. Or not his sister's, but cousin's. Well, this isn't dangerous or anything. <laughs> Nothing to be scared of down here, just a party. <laughs> Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. <laughs> I love how you can see Angus's like glasses in the dark. That'd be a cigarette. Hello, lever. Do I get a pull it? Nope. Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away. We sure we want to do this? Yeah, me, you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. <coughs> He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I... I don't know what's gonna happen down there. Okay then. We'll come out of this together. This took such a bizarre turn. Oh my god, I can't stop. Oof, that thing looks old. They haven't used this mine in, like, a lot of years. Generations, even. Are you our tour guide now? We have Possum Gut. Possum Springs tourist pamphlets in the shop, and I get bored. This is in the brochure. <laughs> Gotta advertise what you got, and. Well, here we are. Cough, cough. May, you okay? I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just like. It's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shh. I heard something. Down there. You gonna be okay, May? Yeah, I'm alright. We should be quiet. Yeah, gotta save up for the screaming later. <laughs> And thus our intrepid heroes continued forward. I'm trying to imagine who would be what in this D and D group of a. Oh jeez, I want to make jokes, but it's just too—it's too much. Door. Door. Tunnel. Whatever. Here we go. this place. Looks like a church or something? And like, junk. Oh god. 
Oh god. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh god. What is it? I, I don't know, but it's here. It's through there. Just a little light of I know you're in here. Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself! Yeah, asshole! We're like five times scarier than you. Uh, oops. He has a few more than just one. There they are! They're right here! I'm gonna kill them! Eddie, you'll do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me! Then I'd say we're even. A little girl shot... Shot at the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're... Apologizing? It was a bad call. I am sorry. Uh, it's okay? Didn't actually hit me, so... Wait, what the... Who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own and their neighbors. The... Why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's trying to kill you. No one's gonna kill you. All of you are part of this town. By family relation, or just by being hard workers? Contributors. Um, okay. So we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. He's not gonna let you leave until he had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through the shoulder. I don't think he's gonna be having, having much of a say in whatever. Wait. So you think that Eddie... He kidnapped that kid at Harvest. He's been in my head somehow. I've, I'm always tired. Constant headaches. He's been following me. Following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God. I've seen this. Or I felt it. It was Ed Scudder and Jim Dorney who found it. Twenty years back or so. After the West Mine closed out past Brittle. Vess Schumacher, last supervisor. He was out there when the company locked off the entrance. Carved his initials and dated in the door. And then you got this mine. The old one. Not even a proper mine. Big hole. Copper. Abandoned. Shoot. Long before any of us were born too close to the water. And that water was poison. When the first settlers came here, that old spring used to be right above where we stand in. But that water dried up. 1920... 1992 or so, some men from the West Mine come back here to try bootlegging. Practically built a new elevator, got the main tunnel cleared. Never found no coal, just Kept digging deeper and deeper till Ed busts through that wall and finds this place. Jim walks right into that hole. Never hits the bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer. But someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl. In dreams and in waking times. It's what brought you down here. What? <laughs> what is this? Black goat. Not even black like the color. Black like space in between the stars. He's down there in that hole. Looking up right at us. Looking up at us right now. He don't talk to you. He sings. Why would you just do something in a hole in a cave? <laughs> do something in a something a hole in a cave told you to. 
You gotta understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone, our kids were leaving. The government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting more regulations, setting our jobs overseas. Spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants. While we worked ourselves to death. Ugh, here we go. God damn, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished? Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church, but when Ed Scudder came back, came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Oh god, I think I know. Yeah, he already... He's already singing to you, right? I... I... Ed explained it to a few folks, and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? Ones he's taken a shine he takes a shine into. And rubs off on you. You can do things. I never seen it. But they said I could walk through walls. <laughs> okay. After Ed talked into uh, into all of this. After that first time, after we picked one out, well not only was the town holding the stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger and money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. First time? First one into the hole by our own hands. We went up to what we do. I was there. I was too. You throw them into the hole? They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing. It's someone's turn to find someone. I think I'm gonna be sick. We never pick no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. Oh, God. Oh, no. Casey? The Hartley kid? All he was gonna contribute to society, except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad, was a rap sheet and a mile long. For whatever sad end he'd wind up at, we did him a favor. Y you k kill Casey? Oh my god. We don't use that word. You know he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was heading. You killed Casey? And you want to act like we didn't do him in this whole town a favor? Oh god. Casey's been down here this whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg. He was my friend! Alright, now throw it down or... <laughs> throw it down right now or I will shoot. <laughs> what if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out through your eye. Bang! Bang! You brought guns down here? Dangerous this far out in the wo- This far out in the woods at night. Basic safety. Hey, hey. Throw it down, son. Don't make this our- Our time. Greg. Dang it! You're monsters. None of this. None of this is happening. We're not monsters. We're doing it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Spring survives. This can... things can get better. These mines are gonna be humming again someday. Old man's puffing smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world... Was we lost what our world was built around? Used to be, uh, used to be you provided for a family, bought a house. And now you're stocking shelves at, at the grocery store. Kids leaving more than they stay in. No opportunity here. Old people dying, houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home become a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster. A job become a burnt out brick box or a hole in the ground. But we can change that. 
Megan could put this place back together. Where it won't be just... Shapes. I'm going to die down here. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old. And I mean, with the fringe ben benefit of the good of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone. Really? You're like pitching us on this? Were any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now, financially like? Or is this just some big costume party murder club for someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying? That don't matter. Answer is yes. It does. This is real bad. This is insane! Why shouldn't we just call the cops? And say what? You saw some men you can't identify in an abandoned mine behind a locked gate and an elevator that won't run? That you saw a hole? Okay, fine. Why should we help you? Because if, if no one is here to do this, you remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles, possum thing springs bleeds to death and soon we'll all be dead this town will just be fields and trees I've seen it I know you have I'll understand if you need some time to think it over so we can leave no one's gonna stop you but understand that you don't know who we are out there but we know who you all are Ain't fair to get them to leave, and I'm probably. <laughs> Ain't fair they get to leave, and I probably got permanent damage. Shoulda, Daddy. You don't know a thing about what he wants, what he is. Eddie, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let. Seriously, get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you. But the truth is, I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> I I can't move, guys. I can't move, you guys. I'll carry you. I have no idea what to think about any of this. My thoughts exactly, Bia. It's just... It's just... Horror? That's not a word you get used... You get to use too often. That's all I've got left. Like, everything else in my head is gone. Let's get out of here. Fast. I don't know if I... Shh. Talk later. Old... Old stuff in here. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. So... Casey. Yeah. I... Yeah. And for what? I... I think I get it. Wow, really? Too tired to explain it right now, but, like... They lost what they thought was gonna happen. Which was what had ha happened, like, a long time ago, or how they remember it, or, like, picture it, and things it gave them. And so Casey and that kid at Harvest and... Sorry, I lost it. That's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yep. Sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What? Shh, I thought I... Get off of me, you jerk! Oh my god, who the hell? Oh 
Holy shit. Is everyone okay? May, May, are you okay? May, say something. <laughs> May? Why is she laughing? Why is she laughing so much? May, I think you've gone crazy. Oh no. Sniff. Sob. Shh. Shh. It's okay. It's okay, I've got you. He's gone now. Shit! How are we gonna get out of here? Shh, give her a minute. I feel air coming from somewhere. So, we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well, that's a relief. How do you... I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, Angus? Yeah. I love you. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered. Again. Which is weird. <laughs> that was like the third time in two days. Third time's a charm. Guys, the air's coming from back here. Alright, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It just boarded up a long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. Let's let's get out of here. Yep. That's some fresh air, all right. <laughs> and water. Dude, that is amazing. You can smell water. Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river. We're in a mine river. Right. I move very slow. But it's okay, because my buddy's got my back. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're going to die in one foot of water. Right. I think I knew before, but, you know. After I sent that kid to the hospital, years ago, they said I had an anger problem. That's not true. I was angry because of something else. Something I'd lost, trying so hard since, since not to be angry, cut me all defenseless. And I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran from home, when I ran home from college, on the bus I had this dream. Maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree, finally blown off. I'm so scared. All the time. And the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over. It was over long before I got here. So long. Hiding and trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop. Until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave. When I have to let go. When this entire town is wiped off the map. I want it to hurt. Bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on. Until I've thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt. Because it means it meant something. It means that I am something, at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something, at least. That's not words. I can't pronounce that. You know I can't understand you, right? 
Is there a shape there? Or no, I think it's just empty space. Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end. But I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're going to kill me right here, then do it. If not... Hey! Dude, you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepy walkie there for a sec. You want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I'm just... Very, very tired. Hang in there for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh-huh. Hey, there's a light over here. Did you smell that? I bet he did. <sighs> Depression is a son of a hibachi. What is this? Might be a vent or something. Kept the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough, at least. For sure. Hello! We're down here! Don't ask us why, please! Could get lucky and someone's out here in the woods at night. I... I could try to make it out. No, I can, like... Okay, yeah, are you up for this? Yes. I don't know. I'm all, like, hyper now. Like, dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? No, like, when your body is, like, uh, whoa, I almost died. When you get all hyper because you filled, you're filled with dolphins. Okay, I'm seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. Oh, uh, okay. There! Thank you, those. <laughs> Thank you, I needed it. Oh my god. Filled with dolphins. That's how I'm going to describe it from now on. I am filled with dolphins. Okay, well. Ride those dolphins up out of here. Yeah. That's assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mayborowski. Professional vent climber. I hear that end music. Oh, she's still climbing out. <laughs> Oh my god. This place. Huh. Hey, May! Germ? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I went right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We're all stuck down there. You, you were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Can you go get it? <laughs> hey, May. Yeah? Was that germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What was he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? <laughs> I like how everyone's like... Oh, Angus. My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought, some, I brought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. He needs the sugar and caffeine. Aw, thank you, Germ. Ugh, anyone want, <laughs> else want to get far away from this well? Yep. Germ, can you, like, I don't know, seal up this well? Hmm. I got dynamite. <laughs> what? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small. Okay, that works. Thanks, Germ! 
Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Bye, guys. There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good man. It strikes me that we just murdered all of those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken and we caused a cave-in. That was self-defense. I guess. But we did cause the deaths of, like, a dozen guys. No, 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 no! They're all still alive down there! Oh god. Yeah. Jeez. We're all blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like... It's morally gray. We're not murderers. If, like... Like, if we'd had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. Angus? Uh... What? They, like, killed people. They were trying to get us kill- <laughs> Trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they go straight- <laughs> They all go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Hmm. This isn't like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. <laughs> that was a roller coaster. Hey guys. Uh, are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easier for me to get it all out here. And I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. None of us asked for any of this. And it didn't happen to us because we're, like, special. You can work as hard as you want, but the universe is, is gonna keep doing what it does. And I don't think any of us deserve all this. All this stuff that started long before we were born. It's all like moving so fast and you're dropped into it and you're just trying to grab onto something. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy that, to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever going to understand what all just happened. I hope it stopped. I just feel right now, like all I want to do is wrap my arms around all of you. Not just because I love you, but to keep you all together with me. Wrap up into a ball and no one can hurt us. Sorry, I'm rambling. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use messenger. <laughs> I guess I'm typing at you wherever you're at. Bia, you're definitely something. I'm so sorry about all you've gone through. I don't even understand all of your problems. But if I could, I'd fix them. I'd fix all of it. And I'd buy the tools to do it from your store. Or, like, borrow them at least. A better friend would buy, but I'm what you got. And I'm glad. Yep. There it is. Now I'm just going to erase all that. Oh, shit. <laughs> Guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off. How am I feeling? That pretty much sums it up. <laughs> it's a good thing to be alive this morning. That's all. Hey man. Nice matches you just last night. I mean like, really. You're a massive dork. <laughs> Band practice today. Because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the Skalkin. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory.
Hey, May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. I'm gonna horribly mess up band practice. I can feel it. Epilogue. Stars. God. It's us. It's just... us. Home and us. I don't know what this feeling is, but I'm not gonna cry today. We're gonna eat you for Thanksgiving, bird. <laughs> Welcome back, May. May, honey, is that you? Yeah. I'm back in the kitchen. If you want to talk. Hey, sweetie. Hey, mom. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Why? It's been... I just... I... You're an adult, and you can do whatever you want, but you do live here, and you are still my baby. Aw, Mom. You need to come up with some ground rules. Just because. Honey, you could have died the other night, and then you just left to hang out with your friends? I... I... I'm so sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I've had a really tough year, Mom. Hun, you you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but... What happened at school, hun? I don't care what it is, just please. Tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around at night. We can talk about it then? Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. Dad can flip pancakes into the air. <laughs> Sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town? Close? Yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh, wow. Calling for some snow, too. That went fast. What did? The fall. Always does, hun. Okay. Well, I'm off. Love you, sweetie. I love you too, Mom. <gasps> Hi, Dad! Hey, Dad. No work today? I told Bud to shove it. <laughs> really? No. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Not gonna sugar sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Aw, Dad, why? I've mined, I've made glass, I've done a heap of other stuff. But this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Jobs is supposed to pay you enough to live. Jobs is supposed to let you provide for your family. Jobs is supposed to have regular hours. Boss is supposed to respect you. Workers are supposed to be able to talk. Workers are supposed to be able to have life. Workers are supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you and her your time. I wanted her to have her hobbies. Even time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance. Hold on to the house. Try to, at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier said than get it done. Unions are always there in the mines and the factory. At least for a while. But here... I got something for you. Got it out of the basement. How'd you get into the basement? Door in the crawl space. That's spooky. So, I got this... A tooth. A what? You know what this tooth is? No. Really? You sure? Yeah, Granddad must have had it from the old days. Nay. Hey, thank you. Wow. Looks bright and new. Like they just pulled it out of his skull yesterday. You show that to your boss and tell him to eat shit. Nay. Hey. Sorry. I'll just keep it with me. Sure thing. May? Yeah? 
You come down and pick it with us if we walk out. I will breathe fire, Dad. Love you, kitten. Be back later, Dad. <sighs> hey, what are you doing here? I'm working, May. Sure. What's wrong? Don't ask. A lot of weird calls this morning. What kind of calls? Question. You haven't seen... Never mind. <sighs> Go do whatever it is you do. Okay, fine. I will. Nay. Spit it out already! Be careful. Just... Be careful. Well, jeez, until now I never considered that. May! Okay, fine. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Snowflakes! <laughs> Snowflakes are starting to fall. <gasps> Selmers! Hey, May! Sup, Selmers? You okay? After this whole, like, head injury thing? Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is all. I got some migraine meds if you need it. No, it's not a migraine. And those things make me have to pee. It's called... It's the caffeine. If you ever take pills that make you pee, it's the caffeine. I didn't know that. I used to work at the pharmacy. Oh, right. Well, if I ever have a headache or need to pee, I'll come by. Anytime, neighbor. Doesn't really answer the question, Colleen. That very much does answer the question. Not a rock salt is not the problem. Snow's coming. It's gonna be a be bad this year. He is up there! Ah! Oh. Need to get up there. Hey, Mr. I will never pronounce your name right. Got any more dusk stars we can look at? One more. Found it. Let us consult the guide. Erskine the Firemaker. The Firemaker? A wanderer in the cold and dark, making a fire and huddling up to it, a for light and warmth. Sounds festive. Sounds like survival. Hmm. The star makes me want to cry. Crying? On my roof? Do you wish to talk about it? No. It's fine. Is it a happy cry or a sad cry? I don't know. I don't have great words for it. It is okay. Sometimes too many words. Yeah. Thank you for this. Thank you for joining me. So what now? Super moon is coming. What is that? A giant moon. Oh, that does sound super. You must come meet me when it happens. It will be late that night. There will be others on their roofs. You will come and I will make the hot chocolate. What a time. That sounds great. I want to see a super moon. Plan on it. See you later. See you soon, stargazer. I should start doing my own laundry. Sometimes. It's true. I do my own laundry. I'm an adult. Is she back yet? Ah, you are. 
when winter come and water freeze, here the fish can be at ease. The tunnel is not flooded ruin. It's a home, a place of doing. Sure, that works. Please go away. <laughs> oh. Dang. Hello, fellow teens. Hey, you guys. Yeah. Stay safe, alright? Wow. Thanks, Mom. Are you our new mom? Apparently. Life, man. It goes. Slowly. Nah, dude. Nah. <laughs> oh, wait, no. She said that she wasn't opening the pickaxe today, so I don't have to worry about that, which means I need to go to the snack falcon. Actually, I should go to video two so that I can talk with Angus. So you're a taco dude now? I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan. But I guess that means holding this sign out in the snow. It's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There's snow in the sky, falling. How are the tacos here? Good. I like tacos. There is not one person on God's earth who doesn't love tacos. Bad news, my ex hates tacos. Good news, they're now your ex. <laughs> Have fun with tacos. Eh, it pays. Wow. Our very own taco place. This is the best thing that's happened to this town since... They got rid of all the snakes at the diner. The owners were religious. And they called in a preacher from one of the, the holiest camps up in the hills. And he got in here and yelled at the snakes to leave. The next day after he... <laughs> After he died, they set up traps. Nobody knows where they came from or why they moved in, but they're long gone now. God. Life moves on, huh? Oh my god, they deliver. I'm gonna eat the shit out of some tacos. <laughs> oh, May. Oh, no, Angus. Okay. Snalkin. Hey, look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah. Just seems like relevant. Well, look who's alive and well, you too. Yeah. Yeah. You want to get out of here? Do band practice? Yes. God, this door just does not like to open. Bet it's worse in the summer. So, did you all get the keys to the back door? Greg got one and we made copies. How did you even get a key? I have no idea. Probably stole it. Where's Greg? Oh, yeah, he had to spring Angus from work. What does that mean? Zero clue. Huh. I'm a little unclear about how both of them still have jobs, since they seem to just up and leave early. <laughs> leave work early a lot. There's a lot about those two I don't understand. I think they just plain need each other. Greg more than Angus, I think. I don't think Angus would agree. That's because it wouldn't occur to Angus to think otherwise. Besides, Angus is an extremely nice person. Do you not think they'll last or something? I mean, they're high school sweethearts. Once they move and change and meet new people, and become new people, I think Angus is going to find he got, he's got more options. Angus thinks Greg, like, saved him. Listen, I'm not saying he didn't, if he thinks so. Angus might also be attracted to really sincere guys in leather jackets. Who carry knives. I mean, I, if I met the right guy, those would all be pluses. Jeez, you thought this out. Before you came back, they were the only people I hung out with most of the time. I had a lot of time to study. 
So like, how are you? I don't even know. I'm still processing. I'm here though. Yeah. You? Uh, not great. I had a dream that the world was ending. Might be. Do you think we're safe? No idea. Great feeling. Yep. So like, I'm a little confused about what even happened last night. The whole cosmic horror thing? Yeah, that. Could you even see or feel it? Nope, but between you and the dads, something had to be going on. It's old. Very old. You can, like, smell how old. It's like a porch light that's on, and there's all these bugs around it, and then the light goes out. And there's a hole where the light was. And it's like what happened to me way back. Like I was telling you about the couch last- on the couch last night. Holy crap, that was last night. Seems like two lifetimes ago. <laughs> yeah. The world is extremely bad. Yes. Yes, it is. Weird question. How do you get up every day and go open the store and keep doing it? I don't really have a choice, do I? I guess not. But still, lots of people would be, like, destroyed by what you've been through. My mom was extremely tough and smart. When I found out she was going to die, it just didn't occur to me that she was fragile. Like, we're all fragile. I don't want to let her down, I guess. I can't not give a shit. I mean, I do the store, and our bills at home, stuff with the Chamber of Commerce doing free study courses online, and I'm a member of the Young Socialists. I sleep a lot and sometimes eat pizza. To each according to their ability. Oh, well, on the bright side, you got me! <laughs> yeah. We can fix the world together! Yep. Fix it right up. Ugh. I guess last night wasn't so weird. It was pretty weird. Old men killing the youngs and the poors to get back some past that barely existed. Same old, same old. They're like ghosts in some old mansion, killing the new owners. Makes you want to either give up or try harder. Or get really upset and take a nap. Yeah, naps fix everything. Or like, drop an elevator on them. That works too, I guess. So, how good is your car? Good how? Cat. Cat, now is not the time. Please forgive me, guys. I need to just... Why are you wet? Why are you wet? Ugh, good how. Can, like, can it drive real far? May, do you know anything about- What? We should, like, do a road trip. To where? Out west. Gets all flat. And it does. We can go where it's really flat. And you can see, like, the world's largest pierogi. Or a museum of toy rocket ships. Or a factory where they make pretzels. Or a house that looks like a big chicken. I could... Okay, let's talk about it next year. I'll start planning it now. I thought you couldn't leave home because of your issue. Eh, you're home enough. I mean, if we're trapped here together, we might as well be trapped out, <laughs> out there together. I mean, if we're not dead by then. You have a way of making Doom sound like a lot of fun, Mayday. This is... that is actually kind of a gift. God damn this door! I think God already has. <laughs> there they are! Hey guys! Sup, nerds! Psh, it is you who are the nerds. What? Jeez, we've never been so insulted. 
Take it right back, dork. Fat chance. Hey, Greg. So, I didn't really know Casey. Yeah. I just wanted to say I'm real sorry. I'm really sorry. Yeah. Thanks. Casey was a good one. Casey was good. Should we, like, tell his parents? Probably. What do we tell them? I don't know. Can we, like, make something up that sounds real? Oh, what? The truth isn't real enough? No, you're right. The truth is insane. So, like, what do we do? About Casey? No, like, in general. Can we think about it this tomorrow? Can we just play a song and get pizza? I don't think song and pizza is an answer, really. Can we just be normal for, like, one day? I don't know how to 10A can possibly feel normal. When I was in a coma or whatever, I saw the future. Or maybe it's, like, now the future? Or it was the future? Like, flying cars and shit? Actually, those would be a disaster. <laughs> Finally, you admit it! You owe me five bucks! That's a bet. No, it was like the town was abandoned. Like being eaten and reclaimed by nature or some shit. I went to where my house used to be. When I was there, I felt completely hopeless. But now I think I could just build another house. Or I could just move on. Knowing when to hold on and when to let go. Okay, I lost my entire train of thought. I had it for a second. Then it was gone. Song and pizza sounds good, May. Song and pizza. Yeah. Good enough. Do I get to play the end credit song? Ah. <sighs> oh. That was a good game. <laughs> what was that last? Oh my god. <laughs> I sincerely enjoyed that. Holy crap. I have no idea what happened at the end there. But it's... <sighs> Man, to go so, like, crazy that you... Throwing people down pits. What even? I have no idea what just happened. But, um... Thank you guys for joining me on this crazy adventure. I'm sorry it took so long for me to get to these last couple parts, but... And I know this one is probably really long. But you know what? It's the finale. I feel like it was a good finale. Uh, I'm very happy this game was able to be made. And I'm... Happy with a lot of it, to be perfectly honest. I like to think that Angus and Greg are still together because they're sweet and adorable and what have you. Oh, the most important one. Until next time, this is Monty Monster, signing off. Have a good night.